Hi, this is Shadi. So Masahiko Kimura is one of the best when it comes to physical strength, technical mastery, throws, and of course, ground grappling. And we all know that he was very quick with his throws, like the major outer reap, um, of course, the shoulder throw. So uh, we all know this because uh, that's what he usually does. And just like a lot of judokas, the veteran ones, he really likes to maintain a top position and just dominate someone and changes from pin to pin so the around the world concept but he also had a small yet fun solution to when someone pulls guard on him maybe they want to avoid his takedown so here you don't see it at first glance but uh, if you look closely he actually works on the leg that's usually supporting the guy that's pulling himself down and not the leg that's going on the stomach a lot of people would go for the leg that's on the stomach or the belt to push it down and go but he actually attacks the other leg he reaps it from the inside and what happens is he's already on his way down so a guard pull is usually you take yourself down but in a i hope controlled manner so what he does is look he reaps with his right foot from the inside and what happens is he causes a little slam because he's already halfway there so it causes that little moment in the deer headlight uh, a deer in the headlight moment and that's where he can capitalize on it uh, and because of that you know flat slam that he can just ride through and pin his opponent so he already has the hips uh, well crossing the or surpassing the legs so it's going to be very easy to pass and you know that's the beauty of the takedowns uh, no matter how good they are you want that deer in the headlight moment so you can pass uh, through just ask any wrestler that goes to jujitsu so this is the uh, throw that he did which is the uh, major inner reap and look at how he cuts through with the leg from the inside now imagine if the other leg is lifted up there's really nothing that holds them together and they'll just collapse and notice with the momentum of the throw we can uh, get forward and actually get past the legs or at least one leg which puts you in a huge advantage if you want to continue on the ground now let's see it again here you see he's reaping and his leg goes up and with that momentum, he dives through and goes over to pin his uh, training partner or opponent. So it's quite interesting because pulling guard is not a very fast process like a, a sacrificing throw. You know, it's uh, it's a bit slower. And so you, have, you can train this and capitalize on it for next time. So... Uh, against Elio, he did something else rather. So he actually did uh, throw him on the ground and very dominantly, I should say. But what he did is the classical approach of grabbing the leg that's on your hip, pushing it down with the pants and uh, going around. But the other one is as they are pulling guard, you need that timing because they're already taking themselves down. You just accelerate it through that inner reap and it creates that shock effect i find it very interesting so this was a short one for you today if you have anything to add please let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening